Well, Shai Franklin is a partner with Gotham Government Relations and joins us now live in the studio. Great to have you here, Shai. Now, Thank what you. do you think is behind um, President Netanyahu's, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu's uh, decision to uh, call off his uh, holiday? Israel has reached a point where the, the top commanders and the top former commanders say that Israel's national security is at immediate risk. So if he goes on vacation, it's one thing if he travels to some official meeting out overseas, but if he goes on vacation now, it looks like he really doesn't care. Mm -hmm. And he needs Even to though the sure. government mm -hmm. is in recess. Well, the Knesset is in recess, yeah. yes, but the, but the government is, you know, is, is always, uh, he, he has to run the government. Yeah. And he's, he's the ultimate commander-in-chief, and he has staked his political reputation all along on being the one who's strongest on Israel's security. Whether mm -hmm. that's true or not, that is his narrative. Now, there are reports here that we're, that we're saying of a damage to military preparedness. How significant is this? And also army reservists refusing to report for duty in protest over the controversial judicial reform. We know some of the reservists had actually joined the protest. So how, how big an escalation is this? So in terms of the reservists, there are logistical issues that come up because the reservists are the people who went through the regular military for initially three years, maybe four, five, six years, and now they're doing their other careers, and they come back every year and do their reserve duty. They are the experienced, seasoned soldiers, commanders, strategists. The, the young men and women who are doing their initial uh, two or three years of service, they don't have that seasoning. Mm -hmm. And to have a, we've, we've seen actually in Ukraine with the Russian mm -hmm. military, how they don't have the, uh, the hierarchy in mm -hmm. place. And it's very, very damaging. So not having these people show up, even if it's not all of the reservists, it, it, it's still, it, it's a major cut in terms of Israel's preparedness. And Israel, Israel's military system mm -hmm. is premised on a series of principles. Mm -hmm. And one of those principles is the constitutionality, the, the democracy of a Jewish state, all of that together. Mm -hmm. And so when all of these commanders and former commanders say that not only do they, they disagree with it, but also that this will undermine Israel's preparedness, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a very big deal. It's a big deal, but is it enough to change Netanyahu's mind? Because he hasn't listened so far to, what is it now, 32 weeks of protests. He hasn't listened uh, to the Biden administration's pressure. So will this make the difference, a difference at all? I predict that it will not. But Even he, Israel's security being at risk. So what, what could happen is that Netanyahu, it'll be taken out of Netanyahu's hands one way or another. Uh, the current government coalition, he has a majority, mm -hmm. and as long as he has that majority, there won't be new elections for many, many months. So what could happen is the Supreme Court could disqualify him mm -hmm. from serving in office. Uh, that's, that's what the Knesset already voted to overturn. So if the Supreme Court rules that that vote is not constitutional then, of course, you have a constitutional crisis. The idea was Netanyahu could be removed from office, or he would have to recuse himself, at least temporarily, and somebody else would take over. Uh, it's, it's, it's very problematic. We keep getting pushed closer and closer mm -hmm. to the brink. It's like Zeno's paradox. How close can you get without actually touching that brink? Incredible. And what about the protests themselves? How long can they continue? Israel has been around for, I can do the math, 75 years, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and every one of those years has been seen by Israelis as, as an ongoing struggle. So 36 weeks, 50 weeks, two years, three years, whatever it takes, I think Israelis will keep coming out because they believe, they believe in something. Mm -hmm. Just as the Israel Defense Forces is premised on those beliefs, Israel's uh, entire social compact is based on those beliefs. And they see themselves as having a, a mission in the world. And that mission is being very compromised by what Netanyahu is doing. He himself is on trial for corruption, mm -hmm. and he wants to change the law to keep himself in office, to throw out the charges against him, and to bring in con convicted criminals to the government. And how much of, of all of this is about Netanyahu's corruption trial? Netanyahu has premised himself on, on security. He's also premised himself on being the guy who knows best how to make Israel look good. Mm -hmm. And Israelis want to feel proud. And the million Israelis who go out on the street, and many others who don't, they feel ashamed. They feel ashamed of being Israeli, maybe for the first time since maybe the Lebanon War 40 years ago. And that's a big deal.
It's a big deal, and that's a, a bold statement to end on. Fantastic to have you here. Thank in you. Great to be here in person. Oh, really great to have you here. Thank you so much, Sir Franklin, you. for your time and analysis here.